Happy Sunday, everyone. I am here to change my little prince and princess on this Sunday afternoon. <laughs> I couldn't resist changing them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change both of them. One of my double changing videos again trying to get my camera right it seems like i am always too close to this crib um so we have here little mr chance taylor and over here little miss zoe grace so we're going to be changing both of them today which i like to do that sometimes lately um, so I'm going to be putting them into two of their new outfits. Really, I'm anxious to see if they can fit them. <laughs> so she is going to wear this little watermelon outfit that I wanted so badly for her. And this is a zero to three months Old Navy brand. And the shirt is kind of off-white, not white. And it has these cute little watermelon pants. Little ruffly legs and a little bow on the waist. Um, I'm hoping she can fit it. Normally, I buy her a newborn size. That is a 0-3 to three month size because that's all they had. And I wanted it so bad, so I got it. And then for him... He's going to wear this little uh, monkey banana outfit. <laughs> Both of them are sleeveless outfits. I love full body silicones really a lot because they can wear sleeveless outfits. And these are his little pants. And these are the little shorts. That I, this is the only pair like this that I have without the seams. And it is those little round shorts. That's what they remind me of. Round shorts because they don't have seams. And the little drawstring. And again, his is also a zero to three months. So I'm curious to see if he can fit his. Because he is an in-between size where certain things he needs newborn. And certain things he needs zero to three. So we are going to see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so let me get started. So I've already changed them into honest diapers. So I don't have to change the diaper. So that way we won't waste a lot of time. And the only thing I'm seeing a shadow, guys. And I think I need more lighting over here. That's why. The um, lighting, when I changed them in my crib, I forgot. It's kind of off balance and I end up casting a shadow. I need to bring another lamp over here, but I'm going to try to do this without it. Because then I'd have to pause the video, go bring the lamp over here. I need to get me another lamp for, just for over here when I'm videoing. Because you need extra lighting to kind of take away the shadow. And I have my curtain open over the crib, but it's not really bringing in enough light so these fit him but these are some funny little shorts um the little thighs like the um opening is really small but it fits his legs and he has some little chunky legs but then the waist this doesn't really draw in the waist i wish this actually worked but it's just for show this little tie so it's not helping his little waist <laughs> <laughs> it's swimming on his waist um because he has the most narrow waist ever but this is the back of the little shorts and it comes way up on him um i'm seeing cat hair on him i don't get how because this is a new outfit i do have cats but they're not even in my room. So how does he have cat hair on him? I tell you, that cat hair just flies through the air and it gets around your house. I don't care how much you try to keep the cat separate. It That cat hair can travel, I'm telling you. <laughs> Especially when they're shedding at this time of the year. 
Okay, so we're going to put his little shirt, and the shirt should cover up his waist, since the pants are so big in the waist. But, yes, I'm trying to recover from my busy week and weekend as I went through all of the things I've had to do this week with my children. And yesterday we had a big birthday party for my daughter, which I showed a little clip of video. And the weather was so crazy yesterday, but the kids still managed to enjoy themselves and slide and it drizzled a little bit but it was so hot outside even with the rain it didn't matter so that was kind of good it worked out because they was just they had extra water they had the slide was a wet slide hooked up to the water hose so they had that that water plus they had rain water mixed in <laughs> so they got extra wet pretty much once the lightning stopped, then they was good. Then they could just slide and they got extra wet. But while it was lightning, they had to come inside. But thank God it didn't lightning. It was no thunder and lightning for too long. It only lasted a few minutes and then they were good and ready to slide again. So everyone enjoyed themselves yesterday. So, but I'm tired, but I wanted to do this video anyway. <laughs> So that's little Mr. Chance looking oh so adorable. And I just love these little fat legs of his and his fat feet. <laughs> so that's his outfit. He is fitting zero to three months. I think if I would have gotten a newborn, it wouldn't have fit him. It would have been too little. So now I'm going to pause real quick and go on this Zoe side. So I have to switch. And I have their bottles made, but they're not ready to eat yet. So we're not going to feed them yet. Okay, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we're back. Now we're going to try on little Mrs. Outfit over here. Let's see how she does. And it's so funny with little Zoe here. With most of my baby girls, I always like them with headbands on. You know, when I pick out an outfit for them, I automatically usually pick out a headband. But with her, I don't really like headbands on her. They look pretty on her. But to me, she looks so pretty just on her own that she doesn't even need a headband. So a lot of times, I'll find myself... I forget to even pick out a headband for her hair. I'll end up picking it out, picking out a headband after I'm done with the video. And I'll usually, if I do put it on her, I'll take her pictures, you know, for Instagram or Facebook. She'll have the headband on. And then soon as I finish taking her pictures, I take the headband off her head. Um, I just love her hair. And to me, she just doesn't even need a headband. <laughs> You know, so I actually forgot to pick out one for this outfit. I guess I'll find it afterwards and see how it looks on her. If I want, you know, to take her picture in it for Instagram. The same thing with the pacifiers. I love pacifiers too. But for her, it's not really necessary. Because she has such a pretty little face and pretty little lips that is like the pacifier takes away from her beauty. So I will find that I don't really put pacifiers in her mouth. And I love me some pacifiers. But certain babies don't need them. Um, like my little Lee that I had, my Leasia, she was another baby. Pretty lips. I didn't really like pacifiers on her. Most of the time, I wouldn't let her wear them. I'd pick it out and sit it beside her. But she didn't really wear the pacifier. Like, I have this one out for Zoe, but I'm not going to put it in her mouth right now. She'll just have it if she wants it. And then her body was made, too. But she's not crying, so I don't think she's ready to eat yet. Right, little miss? But her zero to three months is a little big, but it fits her also. She could get away with it. And they look oh so adorable. I love their legs. 
they both have such pretty little legs and feet <laughs> but those are my two clear Taylor babies for those who don't know um the little girl over here my little princess is little miss zoe by clear taylor dolls full body silicone and then over here is my little prince and that's mr chance and he is the charity sculpt by clear taylor dolls full body silicone boy now him, I like him with or without a passy. But since his mouth is so nice and open, I find myself where I like to give him pacifiers. <laughs> so usually I'll pick out a pacifier for him with his outfits. Strange, strange, strange. I guess each baby has their own needs. Um, and you, you get to know what you like them with and what you don't like them with or what they need and what they don't need. And each baby seems to have their own little personality. I guess that's why we treat them differently, even though they're all dolls. So anyway, there they are, all dressed Sunday afternoon. And it's pretty hot down here in Georgia. So they're dressed very appropriately for the weather. So anyway, I got them changed. I did manage to squeeze in a video, guys. As I said, if I got time, I would squeeze in a video here and there. And my week continues tomorrow with awards nights for my, my daughter, one of them, and then graduation for another daughter. The same one that had the birthday party yesterday. Her graduation is Wednesday. So we'll see if I get time again to squeeze in another video. I surely will. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and thanks for watching.